Hey GED students, it is GED question of the daytime and here's something that often makes students panic when they go to take their GED, but it's actually not that hard, so let's take a look, okay? Um, let's read this problem first. Dan currently has $350 in his savings account. In order to purchase a car, he needs to have at least uh, $1,200 by summer's end. Dan works summers doing yard work for $15 an hour. Write an inequality that could be used to solve for the number of hours H that Dan must work to achieve this goal. So um, I always like to start with where am I going? What have they asked me to do? So in this particular problem, my end goal here is to write an inequality that could be used to solve for the number of hours H that Dan must work an inequality that features the number of hours Dan's got to work. Now, much like when we're writing an equation, with an inequality you, you need two expressions, uh, but you want to talk about how these two expressions are related to each other, even though they're not necessarily equal. So we have four choices with an inequality. We could have a less than sign. The left hand expression is less than the right hand. Or we could have a greater than sign, or we could have a less than or equal to. It's okay for the left hand side to be less. It's also okay for uh, the two sides to be equal. Or again, similarly, a greater than or equal to sign. So those are the four signs available to us as we write an inequality. In order to write one, we have to find that kind of relationship in our problem. Two things that we know are either less than each other or more than each other or possibly equal. So um, I'm gonna look for phrasing that tells me about that. <laughs> So um, I see that Dan is looking for at least $1,200. Um, so $1,200 is uh, one way to talk about how much Dan is looking to earn here. Now the idea is he wants to make, so we'll put how much he makes over here. He wants that to be at least $1,200. So when I use this phrase, at least, well, that means would $1,200 itself be okay? Yeah, we're okay if it's equal. And then think about it, would Dan be okay if he had less than $1,200? Uh, no, he wouldn't. $1,200 is the least he wants to make. So he either wants to make $1,200 or he wants to make more than that. So be really careful for that wording, at least. It actually means he wants to make greater than or equal to. Similarly, um, it's the opposite if it had said at most, it would have been at most 1200, then he would have been okay with less than or equal to. So it's this kind of like reverse pr principle, okay? So now we have know that how much he makes has got to be greater than or equal to 12. Let's make a mathematical expression uh, for the money that he makes or the money that he has. Um, I shouldn't, I'm looking back through this problem, let's take a look. It says currently Dan has $350 in his savings account. So he's starting with the $350. He's still going to have that at the end of the summer. That's not going to change. But on top of that, he's going to add some more money. Let's look at what he adds. Um, he's going to add $15 an hour. So that's $15, but he's not just going to make that $15 one time. If he works one hour, he'll make $15. But if he works two hours, he'll make 15 times two. Three hours, 15 times three. Four hours, 15 times four. Every time he works another hour, he makes another $15. So I'm going to put that H for number of hours here. $15 times the number of hours he works will tell me how much total money he makes um, hourly. So if I add that together with the $350 he already had, that'll be all his money, and he wants it to be greater than or equal to $1,200. So let's go looking through this problem. Uh, so here we see it right here. He starts with $350. He adds $15 an hour, and at the end of the summer, he wants to have more than or equal to $1,200. Great. So let's um, look at why, so this is the correct answer. Um, I also want to look at why I would reject the other ones. So this A, I would reject because you don't take his current money and then take away the money he makes. The money he makes is going to add on to that. So same thing here. I'm not going to take his current money and take away that money. And then down here, it's kind of hard to see it. I'm sorry, Facebook is like blocking it. Can I? No, I can't get rid of it. Um... Let me just write it in. This one's D said 350 
plus $15, 15H, so that was right. But then it said is less than or equal to $1,200. That would have him making less than what he wants to make. That is not my correct answer. So C it is, and you can see that writing inequalities is not quite as nasty as it seems, especially if they give me multiple choice answers. Great. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments.